everyone, and welcome to Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I'm Kelly Goral, the Executive Director of PR Marketing for Hampton City Schools, and I am proud to serve as your MC today. So before we begin, I think the biggest piece is congratulations to each and every one of you for your selection on Citizen of the Month. Let's give you a round of applause. Now, you may not know this, but as Citizens of the Month, your school has not only recognized your hard work, but has selected you to represent the school. So in case you do not recognize the importance of that, I'm going to say it again. Each and every one of you represent the very best of your school. You were selected based on scholarship, character, the respect and courtesy that you show for others, responsibility, and even sportsmanship. You are a leader, and other students will look to you as a model for their behavior. And all of us in this room today are honored to recognize you and thank you for your role as a good citizen in our schools and in our community. So congratulations to each and every one of you on your selection of Citizen of the Month. And it is now my pleasure to introduce our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. John Caggiano. Well, good morning. good morning. It's good to see you all this morning. I have the privilege of filling in for our superintendent, Dr. Smith, today. I do know that he will be joining us shortly, and he asked that I extend congratulations to each of you on his behalf. He would also certainly say to all of you this morning, as citizens of the month, you represent the very best of your school, that you were selected based on scholarship, character, respect, and courtesy you show for others. Responsibility and sportsmanship, the choices you make, and the way in which you lead by example. I have two children of my own, uh, Catherine, who's a senior in high school this year, and Ethan, who's in middle school. And as a father, I can share with you that I'm very proud of the citizens that they are becoming. Sometimes in conversations with them, we talk about what it means to be a good citizen, what it means to set an example for others. Not too long ago, my son and I were trying to talk about some of these things and realizing that the, the positive impact of being a good citizen when you're younger has on your life when you get older. And not only your life, but the impact that you have on others as well. So one of the stories that I shared with him and something that I'd like, I'd like to share this morning, I experienced was when he was his age, when I was his age, that I still remember clearly to this day, and think about from time to time, particularly around the holidays. So in my family, we celebrate Christmas, and a tradition in our family is that the day before Christmas, we have the opportunity to open a gift. And I remember when I was in middle school and uh, sitting around the tree uh, that, that night before Christmas, and uh, my cousin, John, who was about six years old at the time, and one of the things, what do you think most kids do, right? They look for, if you have the opportunity to open a gift, they look for either the biggest box, perhaps, or the heaviest box, right? And so what John does is he goes to the tree, grabs what he thinks is the heaviest box, because he's excited about that gift that's perhaps inside that box. And the next thing he does is he turns to his mom with a big smile on his face and says that, I can't wait to open this gift. So he opens the gift. And inside the gift is what? What do you think? It's a box, box of batteries. So he's got this look on his face, like what in the world? I just got a box of batteries as a gift. And for, for John, all of a sudden, you hear him turn, and he's grateful, thankful, turns to his mother and says, thank you for the gift, and his mood changes. And so you have other students, other children who begin opening gifts as well. And... All of a sudden, after a little while, you see his mood start to change, and it becomes a little bit more positive. You see a smile go back on his face. And so what, what we realized at the time was, and I didn't realize until later, that he made this connection that when you think about life and the little things that happen, whether it's the time you spend over the weekend practicing uh, with swimming, it's my son Ethan, for example, so that when you have that 20-second race that you're more than prepared, or when it's that time you spend over the weekend putting extra effort into your studies that you don't always see the connections. And so for John, he finally realized that, you know, these box, this box of batteries goes to something a little bit bigger. And so he had the smile on his face knowing that the next morning 
perhaps uh, it would be worth, worth waiting for. As Ethan and I talked further, I explained to him that sometimes the work we do when we are younger, how we choose to live our life, can be a, a bit like a box of batteries. Not all that exciting. For example, putting in some extra time, as I mentioned, studying or spending hours in the pool swimming. But down the road, all of these efforts, all of these characteristics and qualities that good citizens display will pay off. And down the road, being a good citizen when you are younger will eventually lead to bigger gifts in life. Again, congratulations on your selections as Citizen of the Month. I encourage, encourage all of you to continue to make the right choices, and thank you for leading by example. It's now my honor to recognize the chair of our school board, Ms. Ann Cherry. Please join me in welcoming School Board Chairwoman Cherry to the podium. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Hampton School Board, I want to start by letting you know how extremely pleased we are that each and every one of you have been selected as Good Citizens of the Month. First of all, I'd like to introduce some of the school board members who are here with us today because this is such a big event, they wanted to make sure they were here as well. First, our Vice Chair of the School Board, Mr. Joe Kilgore. Mr. Kilgore, would you stand? We also have school board member, Ms. Phyllis Henry. Ms. Henry. And with us today also is school board member and newly elected delegate, Ms. Martha Mugler. The student representatives to the school board are also here. Our student rep, Paul Karnick. Our alternate student rep, Joy Bowers. And we're also excited to have here today the 2018-2019 school board rep, Jeremy Taylor. Jeremy? There he is. Okay. I see that we have some city council members with us as well because they have always been partners and good partners with Hampton City Schools. So I'd like to recognize them as well. We have our vice mayor, Jimmy Gray. And we have City Council Member Linda Curtis. Don't think I missed anybody, and thank you all for being here today. We could not have this luncheon if it were not for community sponsors and community partners. So I'd like to recognize them at this time. This lunch is being provided today by the Hampton Association of Educational Office Professionals, the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, Old Point National Bank, USI Insurance Services, Town Bank, and Thomas Nelson Community College. Let's give a round of applause for our sponsors today. <laughs> Undoubtedly, we are all very excited that Thanksgiving is right around the corner, right? Yeah. Well, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite days of the year because it reminds us to give thanks and to count our blessings. When we do that, suddenly so many things become so little when we realize how blessed we are. Thanksgiving can turn a meal into a feast. It can turn a house into a home. Or it can turn a stranger into a friend. Because it is a time of togetherness and gratitude. So I come today on behalf of the Hampton School Board to remind you to always be grateful. And although Thanksgiving comes just one day a year, every day should be a day of thanks and gratitude. Appreciate what you have and never take for granted what you have. Remember, the more we express thanks, the more gratitude we feel. The more gratitude we feel, the more we express thanks. It's like a circle and it always will lead you to a very happy life. Congratulations again to each and every one of you.
thank you, Dr. Caggiano and Ms. Cherry. And thank you to our six sponsors. As Ms. Cherry already indicated, this special event would not be possible without their support. So we truly appreciate their partnership and their love for public education. So now it is time for the best part of the luncheon. Does anyone know what that is? Lunch, the food, yes. So we will come by your table and let you know when that you get into the buffet line. Um, before eating, I do ask our school board members, city council, um, Dr. Caggiano, and as well as our guest speaker to please come up front for a picture by the stage. And we hope that you all enjoy the wonderful meal today. Hello, my name is Aaliyah Taylor. Hello, my name is Rashawn Humphrey. Hello, my name is Alexandria Boatwright. Hello, my name is Dacia Edmonds. And, and we, we attend, attend Lindsay Middle School. Hello, my name is Gavon Boone. Hello, my name is Phoenix Tremor. Hello, my name is Luke Morrison. Hello, my name is Jeremy Taylor. Hello, my name is Tay Page. Hello, my name is Ariana Perez. Hello, my name is Asar Williams. Hello, my name is Amari Wright. And, and we attend Lindsay High School. Hello, my name is Clayvon Wright. Hello, my name is Timmy I. Williams. And we attend Bridgeport Academy. Hello, my name is Abigail Matthews. Hello, my name is Nicholas Parr. Hello, my name is Lucy Lively. Hello, my name is Andrew Jordan. And we attend Armstrong School for the Arts. Hello, my name is Sarah Smith. Hello, my name is Jalil Matthews. Hello, my name is Ashton Richmond. Hello, my name is Denisha Simpson. And we, and we attend Bassett Elementary School. Hello, my name is Jelana Holder. Hello, my name is Giovanni Pascal. Hello, my name is David Austin. Hello, my name is Zoran Shepard. Hello, my name is Nyasha McDonald. Hello, my name is Christian Shaw. Hello, my name is John Andrea Lyons. And, and we, we attend Phoenix Free Great Way. Hello, my name is Sunshine Dudley. My name is Lauren Preston. My name is Kendall Wilkerson. My name is Zuri Jone. And we, we attend, attend Tucker Caps Elementary. Hello, my name is Amari Willis. Hello, my name is William Butler. Hello, my name is Eric Ames. Hello, my name is Cheyenne Culliford. Hello, my name is Julia Brady. Hello, my name is Julie Yanku. And, and we, we attend, attend Kikatan High School. Hello, my name is Inkita Bowman. Hello, my name is Jocelyn Amadeo. Hello, my name is Bryce Moore. And we, we attend, attend Langley Elementary, Elementary School. Hello, my name is Layla Price. Hello, my name is Angelina Hairston. And, and we, we attend, attend Forest, Forest Elementary, Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kayla Bodie. Hey, hello, my name is Aiden Majee. Hello, my name is James Collins. Hi, I am Jasmine Smith. And, and we, we attend Booker Elementary, Elementary School. School. Hello, my name is Carter Pilo. Hello, my name is Ajane Patterson. And, and we, we attend, attend Smith Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Dikari Patterson. Hello, my name is Wisdom Ames. Hello, my name is Shine Davis. Hello, my name is Isis Selby. Hello, my name is Trady Williams. Hello, my name is Josiah Calhoun. And, and we, we attend Hunter B. Andrews for K-8. Hello, my name is Aura Johns. Hello, my name is Austin Silva. Hello, my name is Kamari Turner. Hello, my name is Kira Banks. And we attend Aberdeen Elementary School. Hello, my name is Talani. Hello, my name is Cody Schrader. My, hello, my name is Amir Kurt. And we attend Sims Middle School. Hello, my name is Najee McFarland. Hello, my name is Ruben Volk. Hello, my name is Nyasha Anderson. Hello, my name is Kennedy Hood. Hello, my name is Chloe Howell. Hello, my name is Jessica Fan. Hello, my name is Anaya Covington. And, and we attend Bethel High School, the home of academic excellence. Hello, my name is Kevin Burns. Hello, my name is Ken Russell. Hello, my name is Noah Jick. Hello, my name is Roman Sinari. Hello, my name is Lamani Lewis. And, and we, we attend Eden Middle School. school. Hello, my name is Sandra Cook. Hello, my name is Crystal Jones. Hello, my name is Christy Jones. Hello, my name is Taylor Adams. Hello, my name is Jaden Ortiz Gonzalez. Hello, my name is Kalia Bunn. And, and we, we attend Sarayat Middle School. Hello, my name is Jessica Brooks. Hello, my name is Sanaya Johnson. Hello, my name is Amaya Elliott. And, and we, we attend, attend Cooper Elementary, Elementary School. 
Hello, my name is Aray Perry. Hello, my name is Kayana Baxter. Hello, my name is Brianna Smith. Hello, my name is Adeline Johnson. And, and we attend Craft Elementary School. Hello, my name is Grayson Reddington. Hello, my name is James Vinny. Hello, my name is Destiny Anderson. Hello, my name is Carrie Logan. And we attend Ryan Elementary School. Hello, my name is RJ Beach. Hello, my name is Caleb Lucas. Hello, my name is Drew Chafin. Hello, my name is Zoe Alt. Hello, my name is Paige LaRoche. Hello, my name is Sydney Miller. Hello, my name is Julie Patel. Hello, my name is Um Patel. Hello, my name is Jaden Ellis. And, and we attend Spratly Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Eliza Summerfield. Hello, my name is Kirsten Sanders. Hello, my name is Mallory Thomason. Hello, my name is Tyler Mallinson. Hello, my name is Patrick O'Malley. And, and we attend Jones Middle School. Hello, my name is Kalia David. Hello, my name is Lillian. Hello, my name is Malaya Che. Hello, my name is Lauren Snyder. And we and attend Asbury Elementary School. Hello, my name is Andrew Martin. Hello, my name is Armando Gibbs. Hello, my name is Robert Lewis Jr. Hello, my name is Jasmine Redmond. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Chilla. And, and we, we attend Beavis High School. Hello, my name is Amelia. Hello, my name is Edward Horn. Hello, my name is Tyler Nur. And we attend Cary Elementary. My name is Angel Perkins. And my name is John. My name is Michael Bryant. My name is Amari Alivia Parker. And we attend Phillips Elementary School. Hello, my name is Tim Williams. Hello, my name is Liam Mott. Hello, my name is Maya. Hello, my name is Camille Derry. And we attend Burbank Elementary School. Hello, my name is Cordell Taylor. Hello, my name is Kamari Warren. Hello, my name is Imani Ryan. Hello, my name is Imante Parkey. And, and we attend Tyler Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kingston Bryan. Hello, my name is Madison Roberts. Hello, my name is Madison Dixon. Hello, my name is Cameron Burke. And, and we attend Mayor Fundamental School. At this time, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker to each of you. And our guest speaker today is Miss Katie Collette. Katie Collette joined the Wavy TV 10 Fox 43 News team in August of 2007. She began as a weekend reporter and worked just about every shift before being promoted to the morning anchor position in 2012. If you don't recognize her, you will when she comes up because she is now the morning and midday anchor for Wavy. Her anchoring duties include the Wavy News 10 today from 4.30 in the morning. How many of you all are up at 4.30 in the morning? Seriously, all of you, 4.30 in the morning? <laughs> well, you've got me beat. I'm not up at 4.30 in the morning, but I can catch her when I do get up because she's, she's on the air until 7, so that's a little bit better for me. Um, and then she also is on Wavy News 10 at 7 and Fox 43 from 7 to 9, so if you're a late riser. And then Wavy News 10 midday from noon to 1, but you all are in school, so you've got to catch her in the morning. So while at Wavy, Katie has contributed reports to a number of Emmy Award winning newscasts. She was also nominated for an Emmy for her investigative report on a local child who could not stop sneezing. In 2012, Katie was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She's very public about her battle with the disease and does all she can to raise awareness about MS and the need to find a cure while making medications affordable. While Katie works closely with the MS Society year-round, she is also passionate, passionate about March of Dimes, March for Babies, the American Heart Association, the Breast Cancer Foundation, and many more amazing organizations. So definitely a good citizen. Katie came to Wavy TV 10 Fox 43 News from WJAC-TV in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, where she was the Sunrise anchor and a reporter. And prior to WJAC-TV, she was a full-time freelance producer at Cox Broadcasting in Washington, D.C. She's covered many political topics while on the Hill, including the beginning of the war in Iraq, the President's State of the Union, and the release of the 9-11 report, to name just a few. Uh, what else do we know about you? You have a Bachelor of Arts degree in speech communication, and she is married to her husband, Will, and is the proud mother of Liam, which we had the opportunity to hear about today at lunch. So she is thrilled to call Hampton Roads her home now, and she enjoys going with her family to the Norfolk Tides games, 
Admiral's Games and many of the festivals around the area. And we are just honored to have her here today. So let's put our hands together and welcome Miss Katie Collette to the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. What a wonderful welcome. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's such an honor to be here today among such a fantastic group of people. My job as a journalist takes me to some really incredible places and allows me to meet wonderful people, people just like you. This room is packed with people who I know are on the right track, people who want to make good things happen around them. As I speak to you today, I'm going to break down one of my favorite quotes from the late Maya Angelou, and then we'll put it all together at the end. I also have a little experiment that I want you all to participate in. I'll tell you when that's going to happen, but you do have to pay attention for that. The first line of Ms. Angelou's quote, I've learned that whenever I decide something with an open heart, I usually make the right decision. Who thinks that's true? Very good. When you listen to your heart, do you feel like you made the right decision? Yeah? I think that's why so many of you are here today. You made decisions with an open heart. You made the decision to serve the community and to do good. As good citizens, I think it's pretty safe to say the majority of you are humble. And that may also mean you don't quite realize the impact that you have on others. That's one of the reasons why I created a segment at Wavy TV called Children of Change. I thought it was important for children like you to understand the great impact you have on our community. I wanted the public to understand that our kids are not lazy, they're not selfish, they're not constantly playing video games, you're not bullying each other all the time, it's quite the opposite. And all of you in this room right now are proof of that. My first story in the Children of Change segment highlighted an 11-year-old in Virginia Beach whose teacher was diagnosed with breast cancer. He didn't want her to feel alone, so he got his entire class to write her cards of encouragement and support. In the end, he collected enough cards that she had one card every day for a year and a half to read during her chemo treatments. Another child in the series decided she didn't want birthday gifts. Instead, every year she has a party to raise money for Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, which helped give her a better start at life when she was born with some troubles. So every year for her birthday, instead of gifts, she gets donations and she gives that money to CHKD so the hospital can help others. Here in Hampton, I introduced our audience to some little girls who created a kindness campaign at Barron Elementary. It helps students start the day off with encouraging words and friendship. At Phoebus High School, the girls' field hockey team volunteered their time to teach other kids how to play field hockey. It taught those children the importance of teamwork, friendship, exercise, and just simply having fun. It's been an awesome series. I cannot wait to do more of them. Maya Angelou's quote goes on to say, I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be one. Okay, so you're having a bad day. Does that mean everybody else around you has to have a bad day too? That's right, no. That's why you're good citizens. So from 2018 to 2019, I lived the literal words of that quote. As Ms. Gorl mentioned, I have multiple sclerosis. So what that is, it's an incurable disease that affects the nervous system. Sometimes, those of us with MS have flare-ups. From the beginning of 2018 until April of this year, I had a flare-up. That meant that I had excruciating pain in my body all day, every day. My legs and feet were numb, but I could still walk. My hands were numb, I could still use them. They're numb right now, as a matter of fact. They come and go throughout the day, but you wouldn't know because you don't have to necessarily feel what I'm feeling at that moment. I'm smiling right now because I'm in a room full of wonderful, inspirational people. So even though the majority during that flare-up of my body was numb, my bones hurt, there was no escaping it, they hurt all day, I still came to work, and while I was in pain, I refused to be a pain. I plastered a smile on my face. 
I went on TV and shared that smile with others. I tried to brighten their day, and in return, I actually got a brighter day for myself. Positivity is the trait of a good citizen, and that is something that is easily shared. I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love a warm hug or just a friendly pat on the back. Ms. Angelou was not wrong there with that part of her quote. When you walk down the hall, your teacher gives you a high five. Doesn't that add just a little more pep in your step? Don't you feel a little bit better? Yeah? When your friend pats you on the back and says, you were awesome today, doesn't that make you feel really good? Yeah? So some may ask, how can I be a good citizen? Sometimes it's as simple as that high five, that pat on the back, or my favorite, the smile. Did you know that smiles can be contagious? Yeah? You were aware of that? So just like a yawn, you know, when someone around you, oh, they yawn. Everyone else around that person yawns. Yeah? I think smiles are very much the same. This is where that little experiment comes in that I wanted to tell you about. So here's what I need. I need you all to look at each other right now at the table. Everyone at the table, go ahead and take a look at each other. Go ahead and smile. Yeah? I hear giggling, right? You go ahead, you smile away. That's a good thing. OK, so it feels good, right? Doesn't it make you feel good to smile? See? Yes. OK. Now, here's the real part of the experiment. I need half of the people at the table, the first people, the first half of the people to raise their hands. Put them up. OK, so at your table, half. Just half. OK, good. Now, so choose the half at your table who have your hand raised. You're my smilers. Okay, you're going to smile. The other half, you're going to try not to smile. Okay, so put your hands down. So does everyone know who my smilers are? One more time, smilers, only smilers. Raise your hands. Okay? All right, now, who are my non-smilers? Non-smilers, raise your hands. Okay. You might have a little more non-smilers. Okay, go ahead. So on the count of three, my smilers are going to make eye contact with my non-smilers. Why eye contact? Eye contact shows respect. It shows that you care about the person that you're looking at, okay? So on the count of three, my non-smiler, my smilers, I need you to smile at those non-smilers. Ready? One, two, three, smile. And look at those non-smilers giggling. A lot of them are giggling. See? Bravo. Okay, now, I need you to switch roles. So those of you who are my non-smilers, you're going to smile now, okay? Everyone got it? So who are my new smilers? Yes. Okay. On the count of three, my new smilers are going to smile at the others. Are you ready? One, two, three. Show those pearly whites. Yes? Uh-huh. Yes. All right. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was so good. So here's what we learned. And you can look right back up here. I'm going to snag your attention right back. A smile is free. A smile shows you care. If someone's having a bad day, a simple smile might help them realize they're not alone. My job is to wake up hundreds of thousands of people each morning and inform them of everything that happened overnight while they were asleep. I wake up at 2.30 in the morning to get ready for work. I'll say it one more time because it's true. I wake up at 2.30 in the morning to get ready for work. I have to be to work at 3.30 in the morning. And our shows start at 4.30 in the morning. No one wants to be woken up by a grump, do they? No, you don't want to be woken up by a grouchy person. No one wants to hang out with someone who's grouchy and constantly frowning. So the first thing I do, no matter how tired I am, when that show open rolls and it says Wavy News 10 today with Don Roberts and Katie Collette, that smile goes right on my face. And you would not believe the number of messages that I get from viewers, some simply saying, I needed that smile today, or thank you for always starting my day with a smile. It's really the little things that make a big difference. Maya Angelou said, I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. Oh, what an important lesson that is.
As good citizens who participate in some incredible community service projects, we are always learning new things. We're coming up with new ideas. This also makes me think back to my Children of Change segments. The students featured are good students for sure, but that doesn't mean that they're the tippy top of their class. As a matter of fact, I always emphasize they don't have to be at the top of their class. Now don't get me wrong, getting good grades, doing well in school, that is very, very important. But kindness and being a good person, a good citizen, those things are all just as important in my book. You don't have to have a 4-0 or straight A's to change the world. Impacting your community, school, or the world, that all starts with an idea. That's all you need. One idea and the confidence in yourself that you can reach your goal. We were talking at our table. For some of us, math was not our strong point. Still not my strong point. Especially word problems. I struggled with those when I was in school. But I do know this, an idea plus confidence equals an unstoppable force. An idea plus confidence equals an unstoppable force. Far little is more powerful than an idea mixed with confidence. Perhaps the most famous line from Maya Angelou's quote that I'm sharing with you today is, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I make it a point to surround myself with positive, friendly, and fun people every day. So this is an event, this is a true highlight of my day. It took me a long time to realize the importance of surrounding myself with people who help me see things in a positive way. Now, I've always been a positive person, but sometimes we allow ourselves to hang out with people who are just gloomy or negative. But why? Why do we do that? We all have the freedom and power to choose who we hang out with. We have the, fa the power to choose who we spend our free time with, who we listen to in podcasts, on television, on social media. And we all have the freedom and power to say no. I don't want negativity in my life. This is a room full of good citizens. So I feel like you're already on such a good and positive track. So I broke down Maya Angelou's quote for you today. It's a very powerful quote, in my opinion. And I think it's time we put it all together to truly feel the impact of her words. The full quote goes, I've learned that whenever I decide something with an open heart, I usually make the right decision. I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be one. I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love a warm hug or just a friendly pat on the back. I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. And that goes for me today. I'm standing in this room full of hope, full of goodness and kindness, and I'll never forget how you all made me feel here today. It's really a true privilege to get to speak to a room full of people who are not afraid to share their light with the world. So never stop being a good citizen, and never stop trying to make the world around you a better place. Thank you. not let her leave the stage because we do have a small token of appreciation for speaking with everyone today. Thank you. So thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. And again, thank you so much, Katie, for being here. We truly do appreciate your time, your great advice for all of our young people here today, because all of you all can take away something that was said, such as being kind and that big smile. So I know that all of our students thoroughly enjoyed it today. So before we close, I'd like to thank our sponsors again. Most importantly, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you for being Citizens of the Month. We are here today because of you, and we encourage you to keep doing those great things that you're doing and continue to be the leader for your peers and your school and your community. So let's have one big round of applause for all of your hard work. All right. 
you have to go back to school. Ah, oh. but guess what? Dr. Smith gave you the day off tomorrow. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so you only have to go back for a short while before your day is over, and then you get three days to enjoy that Thanksgiving break. So very shortly, we're going to go ahead and dismiss you to your buses, but you're going to need to listen with your good ears because we're going to have Ms. Bowers come up, and she's going to call out your bus number. And as she comes to the podium and calls out your number, then you'll go ahead and line up in the lobby. Please don't forget your packets that you have. They include a schedule sharing when this luncheon will air on Channel 46. So if you really enjoyed hearing Katie today, you'll get to hear her again if you will tune into Channel 46. All right, guys, congratulations and have a great day.